What is going on guys? Welcome back to another Oregon Reel Fishing video. It has been a while since I fished and it has been even longer since I've caught anything and I just I haven't been able to post lately and that's the reason why. It really boils down to I haven't been fishing and I haven't been catching. But uh, I feel like I owe you guys a video and this is one that was requested multiple times in the last year. We've got a sort of a tackle review today. Now I'm not gonna be showing everything in my bag, every hook, sinker, swivel, whatever, you know. Mostly gonna be showing some of my favorite lures and favorite rod and reel combos and you know, saying, saying what I think about them. Some of the big name lures, stuff like that. Also, I'm gonna be uploading again consistently, hopefully starting in March. That's the plan. We're doing another guided trip. Not sure yet if we're doing sturgeon, steelhead, but uh, that should be interesting, and I'm gonna get to film with my cousin who's starting up his YouTube channel, so that'll be fun. But uh, for now, let's just get into this, this tackle review. So just a quick disclaimer for this tackle review. Um, I am a bass fisherman. These are gonna be bass fishing lures if you're wanting to see uh, trout, salmon, steelhead, tackle, stuff like that. This is not the video for you. I'm not gonna be showing any of that type of stuff. This is basically all the lures I caught bass on this past summer slash fall. This is just a plain bass jig. Now, I am not really a huge fan of jigs because I just never learned how to fish them. I'm sure if I knew how to fish them, they would be better. Uh, this one, pretty much, I think this is the brand of soft plastic on it is Zoom, just a curly tail Zoom, and this is only a... A quarter ounce jig it's pretty small I did catch a small mouth on this I'll roll the clip if I have it I'm not sure if I do okay so it looks like the water here is really low but I think the fish are gonna be hungry which is good take fish fish on the jig fish on the jig guys this is my first jig fish this is my first jig fish ever no freaking way oh -hoo. Check it out! But that was like my only jig fish of the summer. But I figured I'd throw this in there anyways because it is a good lure if you know how to fish it. I just never really learned. This tiny Rapala, Rapala, however you pronounce it, tiny crankbait, or I guess I guess it's more of a tiny jerk bait. I caught a couple of small, small mouse on it. I didn't actually get this until August when the summer was pretty much over. And at that point, I just didn't have a lot of time to use it, but it was really effective for small bass and instantly made it into my tackle box, made it into the list of lures I would tie on for, for like a go-to fish, you know. The good old topwater frog. I did not catch any bass this summer on this popper frog, but I got so many bites. I think my main problem is these hooks right here need to be bent back that way the fish are more hookable i think that was my problem i had them pushed in a lot so the bass would bite and then just not get hooked but i definitely think that a frog is worth tying on in the right conditions the yum dinger is one of my favorite baits this is a tiny yum dinger three inches or two and a half inches something like that this thing is tiny and it is also effective. I use this uh, wacky rigged on a just a small hook, not even a bass hook, just a tiny hook, wacky rigged at Cheeto Lake, and it was catching everything. Granted, it was a lot of small bass, but if you want to get a fish, like I kid you not, one out of you know five or ten casts, get a bite. This is the go-to small lure. Fish can't resist it. Definitely tie this on when you just need a fish. Or if you just like catching dinks like me. Ah yes, the spider. I love it. I was extremely skeptical of this lure because of the way it looks. I mean, it's a topwater spider. Would a bass really want to eat this? Uh, does this answer your question? Oh, one just hit the spider. He has it. Oh, dude, 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 I just got one on the spider. In other words, yes, uh, a bass would eat this and did eat this. And I caught two bass on it. My dad did also. My dad caught two on it in the Willamette River in a slough and I caught two at Cheeto Lake. I love this lure. It's a lot smaller than the frog. 
So I feel like the fish are a little more hookable because they can like, you know, kind of swallow the whole thing. Like say this is bass's mouth, they just go like that instead of like, like that, you know. I'm just getting all the top waters out of the way right now. We got the buzz bait next. I never fished a buzz bait until this summer, but I'm glad I did because this happened. Oh, oh, dude, big one on the buzz bait. Insane hit. That was the craziest hit. Oh my gosh. It's big, it's big. It's three, it's a three pounder. Look at that fish on a buzz bait. And also off camera, I actually caught a, about a pound smallmouth in the Willamette River on one of these, just from the bank. So buzz bait has, the buzz bait has definitely found its way into my tackle box and I look forward to fishing it more this next summer. In fact, you're gonna see some videos where I specialize on the buzz bait. Now we are moving into the most elite baits I have. Number four, the War Eagle spinner bait. This is the biggest spinner bait I've ever fished and I love it because I love using it to target big bass. Two flashers, pretty decent size hook. I'm not sure the exact size, but I caught bass on this spinner bait at Pettit Reservoir the Willamette Slough, the Willamette River, uh, St. Louis Ponds, just, you know, multiple, multiple places. And the big bass seem to love it. I've caught, I think, multiple two pounders on it and maybe even a three pounder on it. And that's in Oregon where, you know, big bass is three or four pounds. So I love this spinner bait when you're fishing deep, clear water, not even necessarily clear water, but like deep water with few weeds. It's just, it's my go-to bait now. The much smaller, the much smaller Strike King spinner bait, I believe uh, a 16th ounce, maybe an eighth ounce actually, Strike King spinner bait has been like my favorite bait aside from soft plastics over the summer. This color is more of a green pumpkin color and I have caught fish on it, but all white is the best way to go with these things. I don't know why. Like, I don't think there's a lot of shad up here as bait fish, but for some reason when I'm pond fishing, like St. Louis ponds, any any small pond really, the bass love a small white spinner bait. I can, I can show you any clips of me fishing a white spinner bait and catching a fish, but here's one right here. Saw a nice ripple right out in the middle. Right where it casted, there it is again. There's a fish. Here we go. Fish on, guys. Yes. This is a nice bass. This is a big bass. No way. I have to land this fish. This is a big bass. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I mean, it's big for here, you know? It might not be big by your standards. Oh my goodness. Look at this. Hey, there we go. Bass on the spinner bait at the first pond. There he is guys, that's a solid two. Yeah, so that is definitely one of my top baits I would recommend. Now you're probably thinking that my top bait is a Senko. It has to be a weightless Senko, right? Well, normally I would say yes, but in this case, it actually comes in at number two. Here we have a good old Texas rigged Senko. You'll love to see it. Green pumpkin, hooked weedless. This will catch you a fish in deep water, shallow water, clear, dirty, weeds, anything. It works everywhere. And this is just an example right here of it, it working great. Oh! Oh, he took it! He took it right here! Oh, it's a big one! Oh my gosh! Oh, dude! Dude! He chased it all the way to the boat! It's a big one! It's a big one! Look at that! Oh my gosh! Get up here! Oh my gosh! This is huge! Oh, I think he's barely hooked. He's not done! He's not done! 
He's huge. He followed it to the boat and then he attacked it, but he dropped it. Oh my gosh. Look at this fish. Bro, I'm going to. Oh my gosh, I'm grabbing this whole body. Okay, he's, yeah. Nope. Woo! Look at that thing. Look at Chunk, he's barely hooked. You can reel it on top of the water as a top water. You can let it sink and fish it slower than anything. It's, it's gonna catch you a fish, especially green pumpkin. You gotta go with the green pumpkin. But number one on my list, a bait that I just started fishing this summer, but exceeded my expectations, the finesse worm. This is a watermelon colored finesse worm. It's like green with a uh, little, green with little red and black dots. I don't know if you can see it. Yeah, there you go. Wacky rigged, hooked right in the middle, completely weightless, just let it dangle. Just like that, fish cannot resist this. Whether it's the Willamette River for large mouse, small mouse, Pudding River for small mouse, Cheetle Lake for large mouse. This is just my new go-to bait. The only disadvantage with it is you pick up a lot of weeds. The amount of fish it catches definitely makes up for that. This is my new number one bait. This, the weightless Senko, the spinner bait. All three of those are my go-tos. And then anything else on this list, I would tie on like on a day-to-day -day basis. But now, as promised, a look at my best rod and reel combos. The Luz American Hero Speed Stick. Speed Spool, sorry, Speed Spool. Uh, that's, that's upside down, but you guys can read it. This, is, this was the first bait caster I bought this summer, and it's a medium heavy, but it's actually really lightweight. Um, it's, it's great for fast fishing. Like, I'll love to tie a Cinco on it and just, you know, whip it out there real quick, real real fast cast, reeled in quick. This is great for fast fishing. I would definitely recommend it with about uh, about 10 pound line. That lets it cast great. Unless you're using braided, I would go 20. But I love this thing. And I'm pretty sure I got a discount on it for about $80. $80. Pretty, pretty good deal for a bait casting combo, I'd say. But my favorite bait caster, I don't even know how to pronounce this brand. Um, I'm pretty sure it's Daiwa, D-A-I-W something, I don't even know. Here it is right here, don't, just ignore that giant trout lure, look at this thing. Comment down below if you want to see me fish with that this summer. But this is the reel, I've got 20 pound braid on it right now, it's medium heavy. This one is seven foot three, so it's a little longer than that other one, than the lures I was showing you. This one is great for big lures, big fish. Um, not as much for speed like the other one, but this is probably my best casting reel. And then of course I have multiple spinning, spinning rods and reels that I could show you, but it's all like one brand reel and a different brand rod because I like to match things up weird like that for some reason, just till they, till they feel right but we should be coming back to the actual fishing videos soon. I'm wanting to go to Hag Lake, catch some trout. Uh, Sunnyside Ponds near Foster Lake, E.E. E. Wilson, both of those places are getting stocked in March. And then the guided trip as well, whether we go sturgeon or steelhead, I'm gonna try to make a pretty cinematic, pretty, a pretty cinematic video out of that. So definitely look forward to that. March is the month that I'm gonna kick things off again and then April's when I'm gonna start bass fishing again. In June, we're going to Prineville. So my point is, stay subscribed. There's there's a lot more to come. And thank you to all you new subscribers who have you know, been subscribing even though I haven't been posting anything. I don't know how you guys hear about the channel or anything, but I appreciate it a lot. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you on the next one. If you wanna keep up with some of the other stuff I have been filming, and just my normal life, subscribe to my personal channel. Just started up, I would appreciate any of you who subscribed. I'm trying to get to 100 subs as soon as possible. Just thought I'd, I'd slip that in there. Thank you guys for watching.